Hello and welcome back to Auto Prime. Today we are at Kia Motors to present to you the new 2023 Kia Sportage HEV Limited. When you open the door, the driver's seat just gets back to let you get in with ease. Also, it has a keyless entry. Just leave it in your pocket or in the car. Hit the brake pedal and hit start stop button. Now the vehicle is on with EV mode as it is on a hybrid engine. It has an electric steering wheel with multifunction keys and pedal shifters. The car also features a six speed automatic transmission. Twist it right to uh, drive, halfway there to neutral, all the way to the left to reverse. Uh, backup camera appears with guidance lines that turns when turning the steering wheel and the parking sensors to the right. Hit P for park. How convenient is this place to be in? In here in center console and the uh, infotainment system, a driver's display, panoramic sunroof. It's really a very convenient in here. It has an extended display for the infotainment and the driver's one. You'll have access to all the materials you need within your touch controls. That's what distinguishes the Sportage upon others. So everything is just beneath your hand. I really like this feature which turns on the uh, navigation or the home screen buttons to the uh, AC ones. So if you want to turn on the climate control just hit that once and you'll be able to change between the infotainment uh, shortcut menu buttons to the air conditioning buttons. Also, the driver's seat is electric, is fully electric with two ways lumbar support and two memory seat in here. Today we have the limited HEV, which comes with the 1.6 liter turbocharged gasoline engine with a 1.49 kilowatt hour battery. General power output is 230 uh, horsepower. The car consumes 5.9 liters per 100 kilometers combined. Complete reformation from exterior and interior as well. Also, the car got much longer than the previous model. It is 4.5 meters long, 1.8 meters wide, and it weighs about two tons. So it is a bit heavier. It has an 18 inches uh, wheels. So the most amazing part of this uh, SUV is the back end of it. It has really a very excellent styling. I love really the styling, the new Kia logo, the uh, plastic gloss material here at the back really gives it a stronger look. Also, it is uh, an electric tailgate. You can open it from the key or uh, from inside or from the uh, powered key in here. So the trunk capacity is 540 liters, but when you uh, extend the rear seats, it extends to 1,715 liters, which is really a very convenient and a competent space to other rivals. To close the lid, just to click that button. So it has a wide opening door just to let you get inside with very easy way and easy access after closing the door uh, and I'm 1.8 and I have adjusted the driver's seat to suit me. I have very excellent leg room and I can stretch beneath the driver's seat. Uh, very great headroom as well and the panoramic sunroof just gives extra light to the cabin. Uh, the windows here are uh, not automatic, but they open completely to the end and not just like uh, keeping it halfway there. I have here uh, an armrest with two cup holders. The seats are really extended a little bit more to provide much thigh support in here. So it is a really nice feature to see, especially for tall adults such as me. <laughs> uh, also, I have here a climate control and I have a heated seat two stages for the back seat in here. So the center infotainment system contains three menu shortcuts that you can customize. This is for the air conditioning, 
This is for the radio and media, and that's for form projection via uh, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It has a USB cable, uh, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Uh, others, we have phone, radio, voice memorization, hybrid system that shows you the energy flow from the gasoline engine to the electric motor, to the battery, or to the wheels. When you hit gas, you see the flow. The fuel consumption appears in here. Such a unique uh, screen. It is very easy to use, very handy. It is uh, really very quick and easy to use. It also, uh, here you have a shortcut menu buttons. If you uh, want to select any of these uh, menus, uh, click here again to select the air conditioning button. Here, uh, different zones. It has a two zone climate control. Uh, if you want to sync it, just click sync with the driver side area, ventilation and recycling, uh, rear and front defrost and automatic climate control. And here for your fan adjustment. It is really very convenient. I like it very much, to be honest. To power off, just make sure you have this screen on the air conditioning and press this button. Here you have driver information uh, on the driver's infotainment screen. Driver information, fueling, fuel consumption, uh, charging the battery from the gasoline engine to the battery. Uh, click it again to see the information, engine temperature and others. Also it have lane keep assist and radar control and active cruise control as well. And here's your multimedia and voice commands that runs only with the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto in this car. Here we have uh, wireless phone charging, USB Type-C, USB Type-A, 12 volt power outlet with 180 watts. Here we have uh, heated uh, front seats, three stages. Also, uh, they are cooled, three stages as well. And heated steering wheel. Here you have two cup holders. You can just activate from this button, these two buttons and leave it and you can leave it as a storage as well and here we have driving modes whether they are you have two modes to select sport and eco hill brake assist auto hold parking sensors and activating the rear parking camera here we have an armrest with storage here we have electric parking brake and a 12 volt battery reset, traction control, and tailgate opening. So, after turning off the vehicle, the driver's seat will get back uh, to a good position to, to give you a good exit from the vehicle. And with that, we come to the end of our in depth review with the 2023 Kia Sportage Hybrid. Thanks indeed for watching.